and welcome to another really special daily draw with At Nature 2020, the global collaborative art project which is trying to raise awareness of biodiversity and endangered species. Now, some of you might already have been with me to draw there, and now I have to pronounce it again. We know we had, anyone who's seen the video knows I had a few problems. The white next, necked Picathartes of the Ghana image of With Nature 2020. And if so, if you did draw with us, um, I really hope that you sent your pictures in to picathartes2020 at gmail.com and joined children in Ghana making their image for their project. You still have till the 1st of May to send your picture in, so make sure you send it in. Now, Bulgaria is another country that's really been struggling with the coronavirus pandemic. And in Borgas, Bulgaria, on the Black Sea coast, there is a huge bird with a very striking beak that's emblematic of the place. Now, it's often to be seen over the buildings of the town in wintertime. And every morning at 8 a.m., heavy flocks of the birds rise up from the local lake and they move en masse to their feeding sites on another nearby lake. So the people in Borgas feel really strongly about this bird, the Dalmatian pelican, because there are not many places in the world that this species still lives. And one of those places is Bulgaria, and that makes this bird particularly vulnerable. So today we are going to draw the Dalmatian pelican and we're going to try and help the Bulgarian Biodiversity Foundation keep this species from going extinct. Let's take a quick look at what we're going to draw. So here it is, the Dalmatian pelican, and we're going to break down the drawing of the image into simple shapes. Don't worry about how complicated it looks. We can break it down so anyone can do this. Now, one of the things about the Dalmatian pelican is that it's really big. These birds can grow to nearly two meters in length. That's the height of a pretty tall, fully grown man. And their wingspan is even bigger, about three and a half meters. Now that makes them one of the biggest flying birds on earth. So sadly, one of the threats to them comes from fishermen who are worried that they'll eat all of their fish. Now, my worry is whether it's gonna fit onto the piece of paper, but we leave that to me. We can work this out. All you need is a pencil and a piece of paper. A little bit of time, let's start drawing. So here he is, our magnificent Dalmatian pelican. Now, this is our finished, and I'm just gonna use a few coloring pencils, but you can use whatever you've got, crayons, felt tips, whatever you've got to hand. Um, we'll, we'll finish it off with the coloring at the end. We're gonna start it here. Can you see with these really simple shapes? We're just gonna start with some rectangles and some triangles. How simple is that? Anyone can do this. That's how we're gonna begin. Then we're gonna develop it, and then we'll finish with our final drawing. So you can see how we step it up there. Now, each time I move on, I'm gonna pause. So you can either draw with me or watch whilst I demonstrate and then pause it and put your bits in, whichever, whatever works for you. Um, everybody does it differently. So we will start, we're gonna start here with these shapes. And I am gonna find here the middle of my page. If I put that there, it's about there. So if I go up slightly, I'm just gonna go up a centimeter or two and I'm gonna put a little spot there and that'll just help me to see, I want to take that line out to about there. And I'm going to take it all the way down. It's a really long rectangle we're going to begin with. Down to there, right? I'll just push that out of the way slightly so you can still see it. And here, I need to leave enough room for that triangle, but I'm going to come in. Now, just take a look how I'm holding my pencil really loosely. So I'm not gripping it down at the bottom. I'm holding it very loosely. This is what we do at the Little Art School to really help you to develop how you draw is to try and help you to relax, because drawing is a fun thing. It really is. Right, I'm gonna draw a nice straight line over there, 
use a ruler if you want, but you don't need to because we're going to rub all these lines out. So we want to keep these very, very um, light. They're all going to get rubbed out. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to do another much smaller rectangle there. It's going to start to become his amazing neck. And from here, so just so that I've got the idea of where his back's going to be, I'm going to do a line coming up and a triangle. Another triangle down there, joining to that. And then a triangle at the end, that'll become his tail. So keeping them very loose, very relaxed. Right, I'll put, pop this here now so you can still see it. And what I'm going to do is, can you see here, I'm going to take it out slightly. Not much, just a little bit. And then I'm going to go up and I'm going to pop another rectangle up there. So going up to about there and across and down. I'm not worrying about these lines because I'm going to rub all of them out. They're just my guidelines really, except this one because this beak, this amazing beak, I had to look several times when I saw the pictures of this amazing bird. What a beak. Okay, now I'm going to take it out to about there. Now I'm going to come up here Go down a little bit. I'm going to give, put myself a dot there and that'll help guide me up. Up we go to there. And this one, let's just take it up. I want it to be about level. Can you see that? I'm going to take it up to about there. One, come down a little bit. And then two. So we've got those two lines there. And I'm going to join that there with another tiny triangle. So I'm going to do a little pause now so you can pause on it and check you've got these shapes. It's all about getting these first shapes in. Get the first shapes in and get them right in proportion to each other. So that long triangle, that long rectangle, the triangles, two more rectangles, and this big one here, that's the key one. So pause and then we'll come back in and we'll start to really make him look like our amazing Dalmatian pelican. So this is what you've got now. You've got your shapes down and this is what we're going to do now. We're going to adapt these shapes. Now I'm going to start up here and all I'm going to do is curve that off and that's it really. I mean my line was, wasn't a particularly good line to begin with. I'd got myself, it wasn't particularly straight, but that's fine. I'm quite happy with that. That's okay for that. And I'm going to take here, I'm just going to come above this line. Like that. Not very high at all. Just to about there. So that's where I'm going to take that to. And then here, if we have a look, you see we're going to come out a little way there. Pop that there so you can still see it. I'm going to come out like this, and down, and down, and then back in, round to there. And what I'm doing is I'm not drawing a solid line. Can you see I'm breaking the line with these little marks? Because I want to make sure that we get this idea of feathers round to there. So I've really worked that space in there. I'm going to come out and rub this out in a minute. But first, I want to get this amazing beak on. So this line here, where we've got that top of the triangle, we're pretty much keeping that there. All I want to do is just curve it slightly, not much at all at the bottom. And I'm going to take it to halfway down the rectangle. Can you see there? So if I put myself a little dot there, that will help me show me where I'm going to take it up to. This is his amazing open mouth. Now here, to get this line, I'm going to go to there and then it's almost at a right angle there. And then I'm going to put it in. Like that. Can you see he's starting to come? Now that line there, that we're keeping, that's our super important line there for his amazing beak. But here, just under, coming in like that. And then let's get that curve. Look at that amazing mark there. That's a fabulous shape. So think about that shape in that square there. And we'll bring it down. We're going to bring it down to there. If 
from there in a curve like that round to there. I think I've not made it quite curvy enough there. I'm going to have another go. I think this is so important, this shape. I really want to get it right. I want it in a... That's better. A nice curve there like that. So his head's really started to come up. So now I'm going to go in very carefully. I'm not a careful person, so I always have to end up, when I've done any rubbing out of here, I always end up having to go back in and put my lines in. There we go. And suddenly the top of his head, can we see that? That has got given us that shape, but also don't rub that out because this here, you can see this is what's going to make him that distinctive um, Dalmatian pelican. Now here, all we're doing here is just coming out slightly. Can you see we're going to come out slightly there and then take it into there. So almost done at this stage now. That's all the hard bits done. Let's come and have a little bit of fun with this wing. If I move that there, you can just about see it. And what we're going to do now is adapt that triangle here. So I'm going to come up. I'm keeping all these lines very broken so that they look like feathers. Come round there and to there and down to there. And then I can get rid of that triangle. All those basic shapes have really helped us and that's all drawing is. Drawing is just about getting shapes in, really is. Nothing more than that. Now here I'm going to bring it up slightly this line I'm going to leave this is where the water is at the bottom of, of him and here I'm just going to put an extra line in there one coming round to there and I'm going to put a dotted line here because we'll do this at the next stage dotted line up to there and we'll get rid of that let's have a look now we're nearly there we are nearly there. So we're just going to finish him off now. And I'm going to put in a few lines here. Let me put this up here. Where we're going to finish the... Um, just edging slightly that... The bottom. Now I'm going to do... Put in these shapes here, like these feather lines, with a grey pencil at the next stage. But if you want to, and you've not got a grey pencil, just use your pencil. You can use your pencil now to put those shapes in. And I'm just going to bring, put a little pattern in there, which I'll, I'll create. When we come to the colour, I'll turn this into a shadow area. But we've got this coming up here. And again, for the feathers along here, I'm going to do that at the next stage, at the colouring stage but what we really need to do is just to fix this bit around here because at the moment he has no eye so let's just bring that down to there and the eye is very simple it's a dot surrounded by little it's got a very small eye eye shape and then around that we're going to do some feathers as well and we're going to leave him there. And I'm just going to talk to you for a minute or two about the With Nature 2020 and then we're going to come back and put some colour on. For those who didn't see our film for Ghana, just let me explain a little bit about the International Collaborative Art Project With Nature 2020. With Nature 2020 wants to remind us all of the incredible variety that exists in nature, both in terms of habitats and the creatures and plants that live there. As human populations increase, the natural world can come under pressure. And when that happens, the more vulnerable species the weaker ones, you might say, they can get squeezed out of existence. Now, you might be thinking, well, who cares? But in fact, nature has evolved over a much longer time period than we humans have been here. And in such a way that all species have a role to play in things like maintaining soil quality, 
so that we can grow crops, pollinating plants, again, vital to food production, even in maintaining air quality and the health of our rivers. Things we might not see, but things that we depend on. And that is why At With Nature 2020 is trying to get people talking and thinking about biodiversity by creating a series of images of endangered species across the world on the 22nd of May. Here in Scotland, we're so excited about this, we're going to be making the image of a Scottish wildcat and we're using a mosaic of clothing which has been donated by school children and we're going to be putting it on the ground. Now in some places the pandemic prevents that happening which is why we want you to draw the Dalmatian pelican. So if you can send your pictures to salt of life at biodiversity.bg in Bulgaria they're going to make a film out of all of the drawings, a bigger picture, to share as part of this project. Now, as with the Ghana picture, you're going to be joining with children in Bulgaria to make their image happen. So I'm going to put the um, email address now here on the screen again, and you can send your pictures in. So please join in and be part of the At With Nature 2020 Bigger Picture. <laughs>mine with some colouring pencils. Now you can use felt tips um, or crayons or paints if you've got them, whatever you've got that's fine. I'm just going to use a little variety but the key is that you've got this orange for the beak really. I think if you've got nothing else you can use a normal pencil and a bit of orange and let's just start in with that because I feel like as soon as his beak goes in really start to see this amazing bird Go. I am now desperate to visit Bulgaria and see these incredible birds and also because all the pictures I saw just everything looked so beautiful. Here we go so I've got my orange in there. I'm going to also pop a little bit of orange there just around the outside there and I'm going to pop some here right down the middle. Right, now I'm going to take my red. You don't have to do this, this is just me getting a little bit fancy. I want to do, go very lightly there in the mouth. I'm going to go over that with a bit of black later. But here, what I'm going to do is just take the tip of the pen and very carefully I'm going to just, just to make the orange seem a bit darker, I'm just putting a few lines through the beak just to darken it so that it shows up even more. Take that up to the top and here right at the bottom. Just going to shade a little with my red. There. And while I've got the orange and red out, here in the eye I'm just going to go there with a little very light bit of the orange. Okay, now I'm going to use my black and my grey and if you've not got a grey just use your black lightly that'll work equally well. And I'm going to go around this top, I want this really to stand out so I'll just go around the top bit of the beak and here I'm going to go up on the inside Do that bit and just shade it slightly. Put a bit more orange in. Pop a bit of orange there as well. I'm just going to go around the edge there with my black. But here I am actually, just so that we get the colourings right on it, I'm going to go in with the black there. inside the mouth just as if it's in a, sh in a slight shadow there and then here wait, remember we drew, drew that little triangle let's come in there and 
I'm going to take the black right to the edge of the eye there and then join it. So just if you just look at that shape, it's just all, all this is, is just about looking at the shape. You can, can you see the bit of the shape that I'm colouring black now? There, coming down. Now if you want now at that point, you could go over bits with your black quite dark. So we've got the shape. But I feel like the rest of him, he just seems to disappear without, uh, with just the pencil. So I'm just going to go around the edges, keeping this idea of it being feathered. Can you see, really holding my pencil lightly all the way around. And I'm going to do the same here, just real feathery strokes. And the same up here. I just want to put a little bit of shadow in and I'm going to do that by shading just under the wing there just in there and under that wing there and then I'm going to really finish it off with my grey if I bring this in and I bring this one in, so you can see if you if you find those bits in the video, you can just stop at those bits. Can you see all these little lines? Well, look at the direction of the feathers. I'm going to create that effect now, and I'm just do this really quickly. So, lots and lots of little lines coming up. These ones coming down as if it's almost quite shaded there. And then on these magnificent wings, gosh, to be able to see one, three metre wingspan, wow. Let's turn that down. It's so deceptive as it sits floating on the water, isn't it? This idea of this enormous bird. There we go. And if you like, you could take a blue and a green, I'm just using the pencil on the side, floating on his Bulgarian lake. And that is our Dalmatian pelican. So that's our Dalmatian pelican and what a fine fellow he is. Now to find out more about him, and about all the other species that are involved in the project, including our Scottish wildcat, just follow at with nature 2020 across social media. Now the more the merrier. And of course, please send us your drawings of the Dalmatian pelican. Once again, here's the address, salt of life at biodiversity.bg. Now you, by sending your drawing, might just be able to help keep this magnificent bird alive. Make sure you send us your drawings. Thank you.